If you're looking for a way to create better privacy around your home or business address, or you want to simply digitize your physical mail, guess what? It's a lot easier than you might think. I've been using a virtual address for over five years now, and I absolutely love the anonymity and security it provides. Nowadays, I never share my actual physical address with anyone except my family, close friends, and the necessary government agencies. In this video, I'm going to share with you four of the best virtual address services on the market today and explain the strengths and weaknesses of each one so that you can make an informed decision about which one is right for you. Welcome to All Things Secure. My name's Josh, and as you can tell, I'm a huge advocate for virtual addresses. I mean, not only are there a ton of privacy benefits, there's also the added perk of being able to control and view your physical mail from pretty much anywhere that you have access to your computer or your phone. And keep in mind, when I say virtual address, I'm not talking about a PO box, uh, a co-working location, or even a virtual office. This is a unique address where you or your business can receive any kind of mail and have it either scanned, forwarded, or tracked. So what I'm going to do for you here is list out the best virtual address providers that I recommend. And then if you stay to the end, I'll explain how to use a virtual address if you're doing this for the very first time. So let's get started. First, traveling mailbox. I'm starting here because this is the service I use as an address, both for my family while we're overseas and for my business. So some of the pros here, they have 2FA security for login, which I think is really important. When you want to secure the mail that you have, you want to make sure that they have a secure facility and that you have secure login. They also allow you to connect with Evernote and Dropbox so that you can put anything into those cloud services if you want to and have it just automatically go there. They do check deposit. You can even have them mail a letter on your behalf, which I've never used, but it's not that expensive. I think it's like uh, $2 to have them mail it and $1 for every page that you have them print off. Cons, things that I haven't liked about them particularly is they have premium addresses that are more expensive, which would be okay, except in addition to being more expensive, the mail takes a little bit longer because everything is forwarded to their North Carolina address. So if you want speedy service with traveling mailbox, you go ahead and get that North Carolina address unless you absolutely need another city or state. So I really think that the plans for traveling mailbox are reasonable. I've used them for many years and I really like the service. Next, we have UK Postbox, which, as you can tell from the name, specializes in addresses in the United Kingdom. Now, one of the advantages of using a service like this is that they have pay-as-you-go options. So I have a UK address, but I don't have to pay monthly for it because I only pay whenever mail is received and scanned. And so it's great for, they have great business options for those that are doing business in the UK. They also allow you to send letters, uh, but really it's that pay-as-you-go model that I really like. Now, the cons for that are that the price per letter received is a bit high. So if you receive a lot of junk mail, or if you think you'll be receiving anything more than seven pieces of mail per month, you'll probably want to move over to one of their paid monthly subscription plans. I really like the UK post box if you're wanting an address in the United Kingdom. Post-scan mail is the next one on the list, and there are two features that really stick out to me here in this service. One is the international addresses that they offer, and then they offer something called local pickup, which I'll explain in just a second. Uh, they have addresses in the US, the UK, Canada, Czech Republic, and Switzerland, and by the time you're watching this, maybe they'll have a few more. I really like having those different options all around the world because it's not just US citizens or UK citizens that wanna have virtual addresses. The thing about local pickup that I like, though, is that if you wanted to, and there is the available address that's nearby your house, you can actually use it semi as a PO box where you go and pick those uh, pieces of mail up directly yourself if you wanted to. Now, some of these locations might charge you a little bit for that pickup, um, or you can just have it scanned and you can use it exactly like a virtual address anywhere else. But I do like that option if you happen to live by one of their addresses that you can do local pickup. The cons is that they don't have fax or check deposit features, which for most people, including myself, really isn't that big of a deal. iPostal One is probably one of the biggest players in the virtual address space. They have more than 2,000 addresses to choose from. 
They have locations all over the US, Europe, and even in China. Uh, and one of the great things is that they're probably one of the cheapest options in this whole bunch. Um, you can find pretty much wherever you want to put it, you know, want to have a location. Uh, they've got an app, they've got all these great things, these features that are pretty much standard across all these services, and they do it at one of the cheapest prices. The cons is that all the phone fax features are only available with virtual office plans, which are much more expensive and in my opinion aren't worth it. So if you're trying to do something with phone, there are other options. I've got a video about how I use virtual phone numbers. You won't go wrong with any of these options, so it really just boils down to which features are important to you pricing and of course which address you actually want. If you'd like, another resource to use is virtualaddressfinder.com. That's a database of all major virtual address companies where you can search based on location or the features that you need if that's important to you. For those of you who have never set up a virtual address before, let me walk you through the simple four-step process. First, you need to choose your address and create an account with the service that best fits your needs. It's usually a pretty fast process, or at least it was for me. The next step is where it gets a little more complicated. Depending on the country, there are certain requirements that the government has in order for a company to receive mail on your behalf. For example, in the US, that means a notarized USPS Form 1583. In the UK, that means sending in proper identification documents and so on. I got stuck on the USPS Form 1583 since I'm a US citizen who's living overseas right now. I don't have easy access to a notary public. Thankfully, there are newer services like Notary Cam that allow you to notarize documents via Skype. So while there was an extra fee involved, I think it was something like $25, the whole process took less than 20 minutes, super easy. Next, go make sure you download the app for the company you decide to use. All the services that I've just mentioned earlier in this video have their own iPhone and Android apps so that you can easily check your mail and request scans on the go. It is incredibly convenient, I'm telling you. So I would encourage you to find a service that offers a good mobile app and then turn on notifications so that you know when you have a new piece of mail. And finally, you need to slowly start changing the address that you're giving out, both for your personal and address and business purposes. So it'll take some time for your mail to migrate from your physical address to now your new virtual address, but it'll be worth it and eventually you'll start receiving all of your mail on your virtual address. Trust me when I say that it's worth the switch, it's really not that expensive and it helps you control your physical mail, particularly if you're living overseas, but definitely if you want more privacy for your home or business business address. Give this video a like if it was helpful for you and leave a comment with any questions below. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to All Things Secured for more great security and privacy videos here on YouTube.